Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about something called as list comprehension in Python. So, let's get started. What do we mean by list comprehension? List comprehension can be termed as a more easier and more readable way to create a list in Python. Okay. So, to start with, let us see how we work with for loop and how we can convert the classic for loop structure into a list comprehension. Okay. So, let's get started. Let's say I have a list of numbers, I'll call it as nums and I have elements in it for five. Okay. So this is nums. Now let's say I want to copy these elements in another list. Let's say I'm creating a variable called my list one. Okay, this is a empty list. Now if I run a for loop for element in nums, right? What I'll do, I'll say my list one dot append here, right? It will check my list one now. It will say one, two, three, four, five. So this is the easy one, right? So we are just copying the elements of this nums list into my list one variable, okay? Which is again a list. Now we can do the same stuff using list comprehension without this classical for loop syntax, okay? So how we can do that? Let's say I'm creating again a my list two. Okay, so this time the variable name changes just to differentiate and compare. Okay, so what I will say, this is a list. What what this list contains? It contains elements, right? Elements for element in nums, correct? So this is how you create the list comprehension. So what is it, what it is doing? I am creating a list, my list two, and the elements are yearly, and these yearly comes from this nums list right so that's what this list comprehension is doing so if i execute it and then check my list to see the output is same right so instead of using this classical for loop syntax we can make use of or create a list using list comprehension in this way so this is a more simple example that we have seen so let's say i want to square each of these numbers in my list or in nums and update my list one with the square of those numbers okay so i can do that so using for loop i can say for yearly in nums my list one dot so let me just empty my list one right i don't want to expand it right so i created another empty list named my list one so what i'll do i want square of the elements in this nums list right so what i'll do i'll say my List one dot append year list of year, right? So now if I check my list one, all the elements will be square. One square one, two square four, three square nine, four square sixteen, and five square twenty five, right? So this is how you can do it using for loop. In the same way, what we can do, we can create another list with the same elements, right? Uh, that I want to square each element from the nums list using list comprehension. So how I can do that? So all I have to do is element star element for element in nums. Now if I see my list 2, you see the output is same. All the elements, individual elements in the nums list are squared and supplied to the my list 2 variable which is again a list. But my list 2 is created with the help of list comprehension. So this is how you create a list comprehension. Now, let me create a bigger list. So, num list is equal to. So, using list comprehension, I will create this because it will be easy for you to, for me to demo. Okay. I for I in range of 20. So, this will just provide the numbers starting from 0 till 19 and append it to the list num list. So, if I check the content of norm list, it will be 0 to 19. Now, I want to create another list, even list, which contains even numbers from this particular list, num list. So, using for loop, how I can do that? For element in num list, if element mod 2 is equal to 0, so that's when we decide that the number is even, right? In this case, I will say even list dot append here, 
Now if I check even list, it will have all the even numbers in it, right? So similarly, in order to get only the odd numbers from this particular num list into another list called odd list, we can make use of the same for loop, but only the condition changes here. If element mod to not equal to zero, that will be treated as a odd number, and then we have to append that in a different list. So we will do that using list comparison so that you will understand how we can give the condition as well. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. So here let me create a variable odd list. So it will have all the odd elements, right? ELD using list comparison. Okay. ELD for ELD in num list, right? This is the big list of numbers. Num list if ELD mod to not equal to zero. Right, so if I check odd list now, it will have all the odd numbers. Right, so this is how you can give the conditions using the for loop in list comparison. Okay, so this is again a simple example. Right, we have only one for loop and one condition. So how do we work when we have multiple for loops or nested for loops? Okay, so let's say I have some letters. Okay, letters is equal to a okay a b c and d okay so this is these are my letters the output i want is in this form i want a list with letters and numbers together a comma 0 a comma 1 a comma 2 Okay, let's say I want like this, then b comma 0, b comma 1, b comma 2, like this, I want to cover all the letters in this particular list up to the last element, b comma 2. Okay, so now I have the letters list. Let me work it out with the for loop, okay, and I will create an empty list pair list is equal to it will be an empty list for letter in letters what i will say i want the pair of letters and numbers right for num in range of i have to have the numbers till 0 1 2 2 right so range of 3 so what i will say i will say pair list dot append i want it to be a tuple right so it's letter comma num now if i check pair list i'll have the list that i desired okay up to d comma 2 so this is how we do using nested for loops the same thing can be accomplished using list comparison so we'll see how we can do that so i'll create pair list 2 a new pair list and using list comparison so what i want i want letter comma num or letter in Letters. Letters is my list, right? List of letters. A, B, C, D. So, letter in letters for num in range of 3. Right? So, here I use for num in range of 3. So, similarly, I am using, okay? So, if I execute it and then check the contents of pair list 2, so I will have the same output. So, this is how you work with list comprehension. The same thing can, the similar logic can be applied for all the available data types, data, data structures in Python, that is set, tuple and dictionary. So, we will see in my next video how we can do dictionary comprehension in Python using the same logic. So, till we see in the next video, if you guys have any questions, uh, post it in comment sections. Happy learning. Bye-bye.